Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a kitchen organization tour. So I recently organized my kitchen and nailed it down to a system that works best for me and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So hopefully you can get some ideas and inspiration if you are looking to either organize or reorganize your kitchen. I understand everybody's kitchen is a little bit different but again hopefully you'll get some ideas. Let's get started. We'll start from these corner cabinets first and make our way towards the cooktop. So let's start with these corner cabinets first. So this is how I organize all the dishes. I've used cabinet shelf organizers to make the best use of this vertical space. Not only they maximize the space, they also make my cabinets look so neat and organized. And obviously the dishes that I need frequently are at the lower level and the ones that I don't need frequently are on the upper level. Moving on, next cabinet has all the glassware, tea and coffee cups and mugs. You'll notice that I have several of these shelf organizers. They are very sturdy, great for stacking and double the storage space in the cabinet. So definitely worth every penny in my opinion. Right down below these cabinets are these drawers where I keep all the silverware. Now these organizers keep the drawers functional and organized. I love the fact that these cabinets are also close to the dishwasher so they are easy to load up. And the next two drawers have small bowls, katoris, small dessert balls. And I've kept ice cream scoop and dessert spoons right next to them so they're easy to get to whenever I'm reaching out for ice cream balls and stuff. Followed by the very last drawer that has Ryan stuff. Now cabinets under these drawers has platters, servers, cake domes, trays and things like that. And the next one has heavy pans, cooker and karais that I don't use on a daily basis. And I have this pan organizer here which helps in preventing pan clutter in the cabinets and avoids them from getting lost. The next cabinet is actually last one in this row and it's very close to the oven so that's where I organize all my baking stuff like muffin tray, cake pan, you know, things like that along with some heavy electrical appliances like air fryer. Right across those cabinets is my island and that's where I store all the other electrical appliances. Drawers above these cabinets have little attachments and whiskers and blenders, things like that. And this system works best for me in staying organized because all the electrical appliances are sort of close to each other. And the only appliance that I keep on the countertop is my instant pot there because I use it very frequently. Moving towards the oven, the drawer under the oven is very wide so I had couple unused baskets that I thought would be of good use here for extra kitchen towels, oven mittens, measuring cups, spatula, baking cups etc. And using baskets in this big drawer helps prevent clutter and definitely keeps the stuff stay more organized. Now this is the space under the cooktop. I struggled with organizing this area for the longest until I actually started using couple organizers there. So I have my everyday stuff like ghee and oils and everyday tawa and, and pans and stuff. So um, I used a lid organizer there to keep those in order. Now these are the drawers right by the cooktop and that's where I keep my everyday spices, chakla belan because it's right next to stove so it's easy to get to and the next one has large spoons, wooden spoons, turners, things like that. And cabinets under these drawers is where I keep my everyday pots and pans for quick access. Again I've used pan organizers to keep my everyday pans in order and a shelf organizer for organizing my chai pans and stuff. And moving on, the door there is my pantry. I did a full video on pantry tour. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here and in the info box down below as well so you can watch it later. 
Further along is this inbuilt desk area or a kitchen workstation where I keep my recipe books, the fruit basket, you know, I sit down here if I'm looking up recipes. This is kind of like the everyday area that we use frequently. And the cabinets there I use to store my Pyrex Tupperware containers and next to it is where I keep the bottles and stuff. And you'll see there I've used this three-tier spice rack to organize Ryan's everyday bottles and my Nutribullet stuff that I use every morning for making smoothies. This space used to look so cluttered but after using a stair step organizer or this three-step organizer it totally keeps my everyday stuff organized and I really love it this is what the cabinets under the sink look like I've used a big lazy Susan here to place my big bulky uh, dishwasher detergents and stuff and I've kept a basket next to it for my everyday sprays and stuff the drawers next to the sink have all the knives and stuff because that's where I wash and prep my vegetables and down below is all the cutting and chopping boards with prep balls for um, washing as well. On the other side of the sink I've kept my small choppers, graters and the cabinet below has colander strainers and next to it is the dishwasher and that tiny sleek cabinet is where I keep some extra plastic bags. cabinets above the oven I don't use them frequently so I've used two baskets um, to store extra plastic and glass lids and some seasonal stuff like popsicle maker that I only use during summer and these baskets were from dollar store ages ago now that the kitchen is fully organized things are easy to get to and it saves me so much time overall with my full-time career youtube and a five-year-old and i absolutely love the fact that i got all this done without having to spend too much money i'll try to link all the organizers in the info box just down below this video i hope you enjoyed this kitchen organization tour with me if you did Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I can continue to create more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.